This is Anahita, and I would like to tell you about the international campaign to ban landmines. The campaign encourages countries to remove all of their, quote, anti-personnel landmines and cluster munitions, end quote. This campaign runs in over 70 nations, and the campaign was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for its mine ban treaty, which was written in 1997. This treaty is, quote, the international agreement that bans anti-personnel landmines. Sometimes referred to as the Ottawa Convention, it is officially titled the Convention on the Prohibition of the Use, Stockpiling, Production and Transfer of Anti-Personnel Mines and on their Destruction, end quote. Their website claims that the treaty is the most comprehensive international instrument for ridding the world of the scourge of mines. When a nation signs the treaty, there are many things they promise to do, which includes not using, developing, producing, acquiring, stockpiling, retaining, or transferring landmines. They are also given a maximum of four years to destroy all mines that the nation holds, and they must both educate other nations on mine safety and help them clear their land of landmines, many of which are buried and must be handled with care. Because of this treaty, over 41 million landmines have been cleared since 1997, and many of the mines are no longer in circulation. Following this accomplishment, the number of deaths due to anti-personnel mines has greatly decreased in the past few years, and according to the 2007 Landmine Monitor Report, only the governments of Myanmar, Burma, and Russia are landmine users, and the use of landmines is increasingly seen as a taboo. According to the Huffington Post, the Obama administration has chosen not to join over 150 nations by signing the Mine Ban Treaty because he decided that the nation's current, quote, landmine policy remains in effect, end quote.